All right, let's keep it going. This next comedian comes to us all the way from Chile. You guys ready? Let's clap. All the way from Chile, give it up for Fabrizio Copano. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? Uh, yes, I live in New York, but I'm actually from Santiago, Chile. Uh, thank you. Uh, and I was there uh, at the beginning of the year because a friend of mine became the president of the country. <laughs> That's not insane, can you imagine that? He's 36 years old, this is all true. He's the first millennial president, and I don't think it's a great idea. <laughs> I don't think we are ready for this task. I mean, let's be honest, like he's probably gonna quit after a month <laughs> because of too much anxiety, you know, he's gonna be gone. I wanna travel first. <laughs> He's, he's great, he's a great guy. Uh, he invited me to his inauguration. And can you imagine that? It was a lot of fun, crazy, but a little bit awkward for me because I didn't vote for him. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you agree, but you can't vote for a friend. It's kind of weird. I mean, I can't vote for someone who drew a dick in my forehead when I was 16. <laughs> and be like, that guy should run this country. That's, that's the right person. Uh, yeah, I'm married. I have a wife, uh, she's from Texas. Uh, and Texas is, is a weird place, man. It's a weird place because it's one of the few places in the world where they hate Latinos and they are Latinos. <laughs> I mean, how they do this, you know? You talk with anyone on the street and they're like, oh, this goddamn immigrant, what's your name? Jorge Gutierrez. <laughs> uh, the last time I was there, uh, uh, her uncle, he said to me, he's like, hey, don't criticize this country. You're, you're not American. And he said, America, this way that I thought was a joke, you know? But there's actual people out there, they said, America, like having a little stroke? When they're saying the name of the country? I mean, why they do this? I mean, it's not weird. Like, first, there's not other countries doing this. It's not like, Canada, you know, no one. <laughs> like, Croatia, no one else is trying this. And then if you decided to do this, you have to commit to that shit for the rest of your life. Because it's like America every single time. It's like, how are you gonna pay with American Express? You have to go all the way. <laughs> and then, and this is what makes me upset. It's like, I am America because the name of the continent is America. Technically, everyone that was born in the continent of America is an American. Come on, Canadians, join me on this fight. <laughs> Do you think it's crazy that one country decided to just take the name and we all agree immediately? We were all like, yeah, sure, yeah, why not? I mean, listen, like the, the, this name is like if one of the Avengers decided to call himself the Avenger. <laughs> and the rest of the group is like, wait, what? <laughs> That's not how it works, man. When we're all together, we are the Avengers. And this guy's like, no, no, no. Listen to me. I am the Avenger. <laughs> it is weird. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, <laughs> they're also anti-vaxxers. Yes, they don't like the vaccine. And I'm a huge fan of vaccination. I have to say, I've always been a fan, you know, like, and, and I feel so represented by my vaccine. I don't know if it happened to you. But I'm a Pfizer, and I feel so Pfizer. I feel... I'm such a Pfizer person in general, you know? I consider myself, I'm such a fi I mean, I'm such a fucking Pfizer. I'm just a Pfizer guy. It's just, it's just a, I mean, I, I'm Pisces. I feel we're more Pfizer than Pisces. I feel <laughs> so Pfizer. It's just, it's just a great name, you know? Like Pfizer, they put a P and an F, and they are Pfizer. They know what they're doing. Um, uh, yeah, they don't like the vaccine, and uh, I was like, why? And uh, one of them told me that they don't want the vaccine because they think that Bill Gates is trying to put a microchip in their brains to control their minds. And I was like, if you think that Bill Gates want to control your mind, you should let Bill Gates to control your mind. <laughs> He's way smarter than you. This is a chance for improvement. This is good news. By the way, why people are so concerned about being mind control? Like, oh, they're gonna control my mind. Who cares? Let's be honest. After the last two years, one month of mind control, it would be nice. You know, no thinking, someone else taking decisions for you. Especially when you try to look for a movie on Netflix and you're there for an hour. Would it be nice if a voice in your brain is like, Shrek 2? <laughs> 
you know, like, thank you, Mr. Gates. Um, <laughs> we appreciate your love for fine cinema. Uh, I have a child, I have a little baby. Uh, yeah, um, okay, that's enough. Um, <laughs> I was like, oh, a Latino with a baby? Meh, not big surprise. <laughs> Uh, it's the law, you know, we need to have one. Uh, no, I love my child, it's so much fun. It's, it's just like I'm new at this, so I'm still trying to figure out what kind of dad I want to be, you know? The only thing I'm sure is that I don't want to be the kind of dad who's like a friend to his kid, you know? I feel I can't be his friend because I'm fucking his mom. <laughs> like, what kind of friend do that to you? <laughs> Just a horrible friend. It's like, I love you, good night. Then go to the next room and fuck your mom. <laughs> Why you're sleeping? I don't think that's fair. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm trying to save some money because they have a baby. I don't think about cryptos. Anyone here have cryptocurrencies of any kind? Oh, thank God. I just hate that shit so much. It's just making me so angry. Shut the fuck up. Uh, no, no, thank you for, for saying, because now everyone is pretending that they never heard of it, because it's going down, you know? Uh, no, I hate cryptos because of this, because I'm from Latin America, and every time I was making any kind of money, people was like, oh, that's not real money. You have to make dollars. Dollars is the thing. Then I moved to the US, and people were like, no, 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 now you have to make jit coins and blip coins, and why you keep moving the goalposts for me? Why are you making this shit harder? I'm gonna stick to pesos. I think pesos is the best currency. Pesos is number one. You know why pesos is great? It's because it's the only currency that we put a bunch of zeros to make us feel that we have more money. <laughs> have you seen how pesos works? It's great. You go to the store and you're like, hi, I have 5,000 million pesos. <laughs> Give me a Coke and nothing else. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Have a great night. Fabrizio, everybody. Fabrizio Cabano.